you don't need to know anything to get started with Next.js app router. Well, a statement like that would be purely misleading. You got to know a few things, but basic things to get started with Next.js app router. And this video is all about that. Hey developers, welcome back to your channel Tapascript where you learn things conceptually and fundamentally. If you are watching this video, most likely you would like to explore Next.js and you want to learn it. Great, this is what is the aim of this entire playlist. So we will be discussing in this video a few stuff that you must know before you get started with Next.js. I will also tell you how to learn them so that your journey for learning Next.js will be very smooth. At the end, I'm going to talk about what you can expect from this entire playlist and how is it going to help you to learn a framework like Next.js. Are you with me? Let's get started. The basic building block to learn Next.js app router is called React Server Components. Now React Server Components, in this, there are three things. One is React, second is Server, and third is Components. So the basic building block is built with all these three things. So before you jumpstart with Next.js app router, you got to have some idea about what is Server. It means what is client, what is server, what is request, what is response, some basic idea about them. You can read about it from anywhere you want, but get some idea about them. The second thing that you need to know is about React. Next.js is a framework built on top of React. Even now, if you go to React documentation, they say that if you want to start a new, fresh React project, you basically start with a framework like Next.js. So React is something which is very fundamental to it. You don't have to be a master in React.js, but you need to know some basic things about React. So what are those? One is about component architecture. Second, about how the components talk to each other, pass data and things like that. The component hierarchy, in hierarchy, how it passes the data. Third, to make the component interactive, how do you handle events? Fourth, as we spoke about data, how do you fetch data from a data store? A data store can be locally in a physical machine or on the cloud. How do you fetch data into your component? And the last thing, what is React Server Components? So React Server Components is comparatively a new concept. That's something that you need to master a bit to get started with Next.js app router. To get fullest of Next.js app router, you have to have these concepts ready. The next few things, it depends on how much you want to explore Next.js and how much you want to get Next.js you know, deep into. If you are using Next.js in the more about user interface layer, like where you want to rearrange your components you want to have in the page, layout, you want to kind of fix yourself only there, you don't need to really know beyond whatever I have explained already. But if you want to interact with like server-side APIs, you want to build APIs using Next.js, you want to use something called route handlers. If you want to do those things, you need to have some basic knowledge about what API is. How does API work? Theoretical, very basic knowledge of API so that you know you actually understand when you develop things. You know, what is API, the HTTP methods, the error, error codes, how do you handle errors, and you know, those kind of things is what is expected. Nothing, nothing really more than that. And then the final thing that you may want to know is like the node and NPM ecosystem. This is not very direct to Next.js itself, but in the web development arena itself, because if you are a web developer for some time, you must be handling NPMs. You must be creating NPMs or install, installing NPMs, managing NPMs and things like that, right? Now, these are the things that if you spend some time to learn, understand, and then you get started with Next.js app router, you will fly. Enjoy the entire journey of learning Next.js and the, you will be building some awesome things much, much quickly. The next question may come to your mind, like how long is going to take to learn all this prerequisite and where can you learn from? So how long is going to take? It always depends on, you know, your learnability, you know, how fast you learn stuff. But on an average, learning about client server and learning those basic things about React, a little bit about what API is and all, it should not take more than a week time if you give around three to four hours per day. We are just focusing on concepts. Okay, whatever the things that we just don't discuss, just get the concepts. Now, the second thing I want to say, all these things that I have mentioned, you can also learn in parallel to learning Next.js app router. There is no problem with that. So while you are actually picking up Next.js app router, you can learn about client server, you can learn about basic concepts of React, but it is good if you can give like, you know, two to three hours per day for a week to brush up some of these things and then get started with the Next.js app router in a full fledged.
Now, where can you learn from? You can learn from any resources that are available online. I know there is no <laughs> discrimination versus one versus another. If you want to look into, I have a full-fledged list of videos for teaching you React.js very fundamentally. So you can pick up those videos that I mentioned and those links are also available in the description of this video so you can actually get started you know, straight away. Right after this video, in the playlist, you will find out the video for React Server Component. So once you finish this, and you learn a little bit about React, you get started with the React Server Components video. If you already know about React, get started with the React Server Components video immediately. If you already know about React Server Components, you should get started with Next.js immediately. A majority of the people who subscribe to this channel, thanks to you, you guys are awesome. But if you have not subscribed to this channel yet, please go ahead and subscribe and make sure you give a like to this video. We are talking about a Next.js playlist, right? So I'm sure you are eager to know what are the things that we'll be covering in this particular playlist. We already got started with the first video where we are talking about what are the things you need to learn before you get started with Next.js. Up next, there is a video about React Server Components you must look into. Right after that, we are going to talk about the differentiation between Next.js app router versus page router. Page router, the older implementation of Next.js is still relevant, so you need to know why app router in the picture and why are we focusing on learning app router and what is the difference of app router and page router. After that, we're going to talk about Next.js folder structure, what is the optimal way you can structure your folder and files in a Next.js app. We'll be talking about pages, we'll be talking about layouts, very important concept, very important building blocks for building a Next.js application. Right after that, we are going to talk about navigations, linking the pages and all these things. We will talk about error handling, page not found, how to handle those things, custom error pages, all these amazing things. Then routing, in depth about routing, intercepting routing, the nested route, all these things that we are going to talk about. Then we'll get into data fetching, where we'll be learning about what are the different data fetching patterns that are available in Next.js. We'll also talk about caching, revalidations, all these concepts while talking about data fetching. We'll talk about how to optimize images, how to optimize fonts. We'll be talking about how to include a third party scripts in your Nexus applications. Beside that, there are various other things like how to build a route handlers. That's where we'll be dealing with the APIs, the request, response, all these things that we'll be dealing with. We'll be building our own APIs using route handlers. It will be really awesome. Along with everything, we will also talk about three projects. We'll be building three projects down the line. One project, the first project will be very basic where we'll be focusing on completely on the user interface building using Next.js framework. We'll be talking about components, we'll be talking about pages, layout, styling, etc. And we'll be building something cool. The second one where we'll be taking the same app and then plug into one already existing available APIs. Any APIs that is available and we're going to kind of hook into that and then we want to make the app live from the data fetching perspective. The third and the last project that we'll do will be a little more extensive, where we'll be starting very much from scratch. We'll be first designing the database, then we'll be building the API in front of it, then we'll be consuming those API into our Next.js component pages and layouts to make this application live. Sounds amazing, isn't it? So that's what we're going to do in this playlist. Please subscribe to this channel if you are interested in learning Next.js with me, if you are interested in mastering Next.js without any cost, completely free, without paying anything. Okay, I'm sure you will be. So that's all for this video. I hope you will have an amazing journey with me. So if you like this video, please post a like so that you know everybody discover it easily and also comment your questions, what you expect from this playlist. And if there is something missing and something I can accommodate, I will definitely do it. Before I go away, take love from your teacher. Thank you very much for watching this.